So you have your printer all, all dialed in, but you still have a few parts that just aren't fitting together properly. That can be pretty frustrating, but don't sweat it. It's easily fixed with horizontal expansion, initial layer expansion, and of course, whole horizontal expansion. These settings allow you to apply an offset in the XY axis to account for any inaccuracies in your printed model. Now, a positive value will make your model bigger. Negative value makes your model smaller. So, if your model is coming out oversized, just enter the correct negative value to reduce it. If it's undersized, just enter the correct positive value to make it bigger. I'm going to show you how to do this in Cura 5.3.1. I'm Bill, and this is Pushing Plastic. demonstrate horizontal expansion in action, I made up this simple block that should measure 100 millimeters by 40 millimeters. I've added a few holes, 125 millimeters, 115 millimeter, and a 25 millimeter square. I printed this out with my Ender 5 with PLA. Now let's measure this to see how we did. 99.9 for the length, 39.9 for the width, 28.8 for the, well, 24.8 for the large circle, 14.7 for the small circle, and 24.8 for the square. Typically with these numbers, they wouldn't bother me and I would leave them alone but we are talking about the use of horizontal expansion and its friends, so let's get to it. Now, since I'm off by 0.1 millimeter in the length and width, I'm gonna fix this by setting the horizontal expansion value in my slicer to 0.05 millimeter. This will increase or expand the length and width by 0.05 millimeters in each direction for a total increase of 0.1 millimeter. I'm going to leave my initial layer horizontal expansion and my whole horizontal expansion at zero. Let's slice and print this. The length is measuring at 100 millimeters as it should, and the width is 40 millimeters as it should be, Perfect. But what about the holes? They're measuring at 24.6 for the large hole, 14.6 for the smaller hole, and 24.7 for the square. That's worse than before. That's because the horizontal expansion is also expanding inward towards the holes. It's okay. We can fix this. In my slicer, I'm going to leave my horizontal expansion set to 0.5 millimeters. This already fixed my outside dimension, so we're going to leave that alone. We'll also leave the initial horizontal layer expansion at zero. I'll correct this problem using the whole horizontal expansion along with the regular horizontal expansion. This is where the math can get a little fun, but it's easy. We take our large hole, for example. In our original part, we measured 24.8 millimeters when we should have measured 25 millimeters. So we were already off by 0.2 millimeters. When we applied the horizontal expansion value of 0 point, or 0 0.05 to our model, it expanded by a total of one millimeter. But it also expanded our hole inward by the same amount. So where the hole was 24.7, I have that right, 24.8, horizontal expansion changed it to 24.7. So we need to expand our holes by zero or 0.3 millimeters. Told you it was fun. So we'll set the whole horizontal expansion to 0.015. Now our holes will expand outward 
by that amount in all directions for a total of 0.3 millimeters without affecting the outer dimensions of the model. Let's slice, print, and measure this one. Now our measurements are showing 100 millimeters for the length, 40 millimeters for the width, 25 millimeter for the big hole, 15 millimeters for the small hole, and 25 millimeters for the square. Perfect. Life is good. If our original holes would have been perfect and the outer dimensions were still off by 0.1, my settings would have been for the horizontal expansion to be 0 0.05 millimeters, while my horizontal expansion would have been set to minus 0 0.05 to counter it. Now there's one last thing to cover. Initial layer horizontal expansion. If this were set to zero, it'll act the same as your horizontal expansion. Otherwise, it will just adjust your initial layer only. This comes in handy if you're, yeah, let's just say, you're getting elephant's feet on your prints. For example, you're printing a 20 millimeter cube and it measures fine at the top, but you're measuring at the bottom 20.2 millimeters. Setting your initial horizontal expansion, initial layer horizontal expansion to minus 0.1 will bring your initial layer in by 0.1 millimeter on each side for a total of minus two overall, giving you 20 millimeters at the bottom. Wow, that's a lot of expansions. I hope you found this information useful and I hope you can apply it to your projects. If you did, Hit that like button and let me know down below in the comments. I'd like to hear about it. Smash that bell so you'll be alerted to new content in the future. Live your life one layer at a time. And if you haven't done it yet, please consider subscribing.